Ernie, thank you. We know so many industries have been on hold awaiting this pandemic to uh, resolve or lessen as a threat from canceled performances and art shows, even Broadway in New York City going dark. The pandemic has greatly impacted the arch, arts and culture scene, both here in the Valley and really, Scott, across the country. Yeah, but there is some help for struggling artists here in Phoenix trying to stay afloat. Kylie joining us this morning in uh, from Roosevelt Road to explain how to apply for these relief grants. Hey, Kylie. Hey, good morning. You know, Roosevelt Row really exploded in recent years. If you've been down here, you know it is definitely a vibrant art scene. We're right here by a cool exhibit called Shadow Play. It was installed here in 2015. But unfortunately, this pandemic has changed so many things in life. And for artists out there, it is a really difficult time. I mean, you've seen uh, so many things, you, like you mentioned, uh, Broadway going dark, the symphony canceling its upcoming season. And so with us right now is Mitch. She is the director of the Office of uh, Arts and Culture here in the city of Phoenix. And the arts impacts really have been felt here in the Valley. Kind of put it in perspective what the art industry has lost in recent months. Sure. So Americans for the Arts, a national art service organization, put out a report that nationally, $10.2 billion in economic losses have been felt in the nonprofit arts and culture sector alone. So if we bring that down into our local economy, we have organizations who have lost thousands of dollars or a million dollars, but that impact was felt in the last quarter of their fiscal year, so end uh, beginning of summer. But now we're having to future skate the whole next season. As you mentioned, the symphony has canceled its season. People are having to do alternative programs. And that's really making an impact to the organization's bottom line, but also the artists and the professionals that uh, are hired by those companies. And you guys have some new grant funding that's available starting on Monday. So if you're an artist out there or you really play a role, maybe you're a sound guy or a lighting uh, guy, this is for you. These grants are available starting Monday. You've got the second round of funding, which is awesome. Tell me a little bit about who can apply and why this is important to kind of help them during this time. Yeah, so City Council generously allocated $2.6 million from the city's coronavirus relief fund that it received from the federal government for small businesses. And we've been able to fund arts organizations like the Symphony, the Opera Ballet, to small and mid-size, but also individual artists who are holding up the support and the real practitioners within that field uh, to help offset costs from lost gigs, contracts, uh, showings, performances. And grants are up to $1,500. And uh, we have a second round. We have enough money for a second round. And we helped about 300 artists in the first round. And we're hoping to do the same in the second. Yeah, we know that the little bit of money will definitely help them, but obviously it's been really hard for these artists who have lost their livelihood and their passion. Uh, they love performing, and right now they're not able to do that. So if you're a struggling artist or you're impacted all by this, go to our website, easyfamily.com, click on the links tab, the news links tab, and we've got the uh, direct website you can go to apply for these grants. Again, grants available starting on Monday. Guys, we'll send it back to you.